Okay, I'm back at the police department. I, I'm not getting the supervised visits that were derived out of corruption. So I don't have normal experiences with the police. They set up chaos for me. I have multiple false arrests. I'm targeted. They're behind my abuse. They're behind these um, businesses mistreating me and denying me services. So at this point, I don't have civil rights. So there was someone walking by. So I'm doing this to get my civil rights back and get access to my daughter. They took her deliberately out of corruption. In addition to that, they um, sabotaged my custody rights with my son and wouldn't enforce a child custody agreement. So this is why I have to keep doing this to try to obtain civil rights because they st take stolen them from me out of corruption. I've been here for a little bit. So I guess they're busy right now and they'll get to me. So here what? There's someone sitting right there, you can't see it. And then there's another person over there. They are not trying to help me and I'm just sitting, standing here. They didn't greet me or anything. So when the police departments are bullies, they do things to disregard you and, you know, mistreat you and then loud talk you. And these are schemes like the other day I exposed the officers would get on the phone and then they would leave their desk. This is part of their abuse. They already know about the hinder child custody rights. They know I'll be here to try to get them to abide by the law. They continuously would not abide by the law for years. That's why they have 70 something reports ranging from eating ran off the road, guns pulled on me, assaults, trapped on trains, buses, um, cars speeding up like they were gonna hit me, my son getting hit with a car, child abuse, all kinds of things that they keep covering for. I would get threatened some days, three or four times a day by strangers. They would purposely try to start conflict because they were paid to do it. For it's for the because if you're not be used to being on the streets and when someone comes up to you like they're trying to fight you and do all this chaos, that's traumatic. You know all the chaos I was going on uh, going on in my life, and then people starting arguments that I didn't know. So that was traumatic. So I'm still waiting. Maybe I need to push the button. Let me push the, ring the bell. Maybe they didn't see me. Oh, that worked. Okay. Um, I want to do an interference with child custody report. K. Ross, what's your badge number? Okay, I've been reporting it the years, and I've been getting slip. I've been slipping through the cracks ever since my daughter witnessed my false arrest, screaming in terror. Multiple parties have been scheming and making false statements to keep me away from my child, uh -huh. and I fell through the cracks like seventy something times with Dallas Police Department, mm -hmm. and they gave me fraud. You fell through the cracks. Um, I'm about to explain that. Okay. Um, I went to the police department, and they uh, threatened to take me to jail for reporting identity theft. That I think the stalker was behind. That he report said that he did. Um, I had my card, but someone went to an ATM and took funds out. So not only did they have my uh, copy of my card, they you had my PIN number. Oh, this is a new thing. I don't know why you want to see my face. Why is that yeah, vital? So I can see your expression and see your demeanor. Oh, I don't know why that's vital because I want to see your face because the multiple officers have been tampered with evidence committing felonies for years. Okay. Okay, so back to what I was saying, they threatened to take me to jail and police headquarters for trying to report the identity theft. Mm -hmm. the identity theft. And then like I've been trapped on trains, buses, assaulted, guns pulled on me, ran off the road, cars speeding up like they were going to hit me on camera footage. A lot of these things were on camera footage. Okay. Trapped on trains, it was uh, July 4, 2019, uh, 4.08 a.m. on the Green Line, Buckner Green Line. But some kind of way you guys want to investigate it, you won't investigate who made false statements to get me detained at Salvation Army. That was on camera footage too. Because I've been saying that I was stating that I was railroaded and multiple parties keep making false statements. But I don't, it's not really doing a lot of good if you guys are covering for crimes, which I thought tampered with evidence was a felony. So I'm trying to see why the police department is refusing to investigate these crimes. Even with my daughter, when I, um, someone said that she was missing, and I asked for a welfare check, and they denied the welfare check. And they denied to do one for my son. I'm sorry? What do you mean they denied the welfare check? Um, his name was Davis. He would not do a welfare check, and I asked for one. So I had to come back and ask again, and they bullied me, and then did a welfare check. 
So I don't know why my daughter's 12 years old, why she has to get violated to violate me and on these crimes that the police are committing. When was this? Let me get that date. Does it make a difference what date it is, by the way? I mean, no, but I just like the Because, I mean, a lot of police distract and play games, you know, for years. Let me get that date if you need it. Oh, well, I have a recording. Okay. I keep recordings. That's why I'm recording you now. It was June 27th, Davis. June he, Yes, he would not do a welfare check for a missing 12-year-old <laughs> child, and I asked him to. That's absolutely what correct. You asked him to do a welfare check out? Here. No, what do, you, what do you have him do a welfare check? Uh, does it matter? Well, yeah, because if you come here and ask for a welfare check, we can't go anywhere. We don't just okay, another officer call did. Call it was in Dallas. Yeah, you got to call 911. No, he was committing crimes. A lot of parties. I, what no, you, you're not understanding me. We don't do welfare checks out of the station. We don't dispatch from the station. You have to call 911 to get a welfare check. Well, they did check. one. He, oh, he was supposed to do a welfare check. Okay. So you had me look for the welfare check and you're, you're all over the place. No, so you had me look for the video. Then you said you don't do welfare checks. So when I come in here, police well, deliberately make it difficult and they deflect and play games to di distract and minimize what I'm reporting, okay. which is a form of abuse, but you can get away with it. You're here to re report interference with child custody, yeah. That was your initial. Right, no, right, no. but you asked, you're distracting it. Yeah, yeah, and then I reported that I'm targeted and I've been ran off the roads, guns pulled on me, trapped on trains, which are deflecting. No, that I'm you guys want to investigate 70 something reports. While you're actually here, what well, I think first off, you should need have be should be more compassionate on why you guys I've slept through the, slipped through the cracks like 70 something times yeah, and why police bully me and violate me when I'm reporting crimes, why this same department detained me on false mental illness claims when I was trying to report child abuse. Okay. So I need to know why the police department, as well as multiple other agencies, along with CPS. Well, you should, because it's criminal. You should, because it's criminal. That's why kind of where we're running into problems, because you guys are denying law enforcement. Well, your law enforcement. Your law enforcement, sir. Your law enforcement. Yeah. So your law enforcement. It's current. It's your law enforcement. Do you understand where I'm going? Are you, I don't understand why I'm being deprived of law enforcement because you I don't know and understand why I'm being deprived of law enforcement. You're not being deprived. Okay, I'm well, the, the I ran off the road. You're cars, the road. Uh, yes, cars. All of this stuff is occurring. Today. I fell through the cracks 70 something times. Today. I'm, I'm not quite. What's going on today? You said you were here for interference in child custody. So what can I do for you? Today? Well, first off, the first part would be to get me a, a police officer that has integrity. I have been finally trying to look for one for years and haven't found one. Okay. Well, then we need to we need to get to the bottom line of why I, you're not concerned about why someone was allowed to pull a gun on me and why I was ran off roads. You said you came in here for interference with child custody. It had nothing to do with somebody pulling the gun. All of it combined. The interference with child custody. The party that's paying all these people to do that also caused the interference with child custody. Yeah. When did you pull a gun on you? That was April of 2020. April of 2020. That's two years ago. You didn't make a report. I did. First time the police covered for it, like what you're trying to do, and then uh, six no, months left. I'm, I'm letting you know, and you keep deflecting and all over the place, like multiple police. This is a game. So they deliberately try to make it abusive. This is deliberate schemes for torture. So I, they would detain me and arrest me in the past. These, this is deliberate. It's not an accident. Are you legally supposed to be in custody of your child today? You're deflecting. No, I am asking you a question. Okay. Multiple parties, multiple parties have lied and schemed. If you're going to consistently cover for the crimes, tamper with evidence is a felony. I don't know why you would talk over me when I'm trying to report these crimes. Are you aware of it? You're gaslighting me and being abusive to cover for these crimes. Party after party is sick. But you're not listening. You're gaslighting me. You're supposed to have your child today. Do you have court paperwork? I've already turned it in and you guys keep covering for it. You have a copy of the paperwork. It won't get bigger. They're staring me down. I've already turned it in. What I'm trying to report. Do you have a copy of the paper? I've already turned it in multiple times. No, I need to see it. They already said that. Right they keep saying that. I need to see a copy. Do you have a copy? Okay. I would have to get another copy, but I don't understand why you just want to look at the copy that's on file and why you guys make it difficult for me to report crimes. I'm sorry? We don't keep files here. You don't keep files? I thought it was that you're committing crimes and covering for it. Uh, that's what I thought. I thought that when someone making false statements. This is not headquarters. Well, here's the thing. 
If I have already turned it into multiple officers, why is it not getting investigated? If you want me to do something today and you're coming here with a complaint today, I need to see the proof that you have of your... Okay, family. hold on. I think I have a copy on my phone. Just one minute. I need a signed court document right here with me, not on the phone. Okay, so these are catch-22s that they purposely do no, to keep me from justice. That, no, it's been going on years, sir. It's been going on years. So let me make sure I understand. Mm -hmm. So I've reported it and turned documentation is uh, numerous times. Yes, ma'am. You will not adhere to the document, either to, to um, I turned turned it into bill. I turned it into multiple other parties. You refuse investigation for. I don't refuse anything. I don't have. Any okay, I want to report child that. abuse today. What's that? I want to report child abuse. You want to report child abuse? So instead of interference with child custody, now it's child abuse. Yes, right? that's correct. All right. Okay. So what is the claim? What's happening? Okay, September 24, 2011, there were bruises on my daughter. Uh, you guys took pictures and called CPS. Mm -hmm. um, she was away from her dad for a long time. He was a deadbeat dad, mm -hmm. and he wasn't really in her life. Mm -hmm. He had a stroke, yeah. and then when he had the stroke, he came back into her life around the end of 2016. Okay. And um, kind of was off and on, but came in again in 2017. Mm -hmm. So since, she, since my daughter could talk, I let her go back over there. And then when she uh, went over there again in February, she reported that her the stepmom, which was part of this party that was supposed to have done the. Um, what year is this? February. I'm I'm telling you all of it. I'm giving you a guideline, a whole. Um, so February of to see how he's smiling. It's sick. The reporting child abuse is deliberate uh, to disregard, and it's a form of violation. They that's a multitude of officers doing it. Can you continue story? I'm, I'm giving the storyline of my viewers so they can see the chaos that you guys are uh, subjecting targeted people to. Well, no okay, so since they set up the corruption, they don't want to investigate themselves. They set up for these parties to make these false statements so I won't have access to my child, so they cover for it. That's what's going on. So anyway, so in February of 2018, she, my daughter reported that stepmom sat on her and she couldn't breathe and whipped her with the metal part of the belt. I told James Hastings and multiple other parties, they all cover for it. And you guys can't find the pictures of the bruises or CPS, the pictures that establishes a history of abuse. Okay. She's emotionally abusive. I tried to inform officers of that. They wanted to detain me and cover for it. I served a month in a mental hospital out of their corruption. Then they lied in the report. Saying that I was delusional and I was talking about people harassing me. I was reporting child abuse and how multiple parties were enlisted to keep me away from my child. Interference with child custody is a felony, even if the government wants to aid in it. Uh, not reporting suspected child abuse is a class A misdemeanor, even if you are the government and you disregard it. So anyway, I reported that. Then she gave me a text saying that she was hit. Okay, I reported to the police April of 2022. They covered for that again. I reported. Right. So the stepmom knows that you guys consistently keep covering for her. So they abuse my, uh, violate my daughter and keep me away from my daughter when she reports abuse. So she's punished. I buy my daughter things, I give her gifts, and I give her encouragement. And she's in an abusive situation that you guys keep covering for, and you've been doing it for years. Okay. Can I see your ID? So I don't know why you want to investigate the false statements that were made. I'm sorry? What happened in April? She sent me text saying that she was hit by someone. She was hit by someone. Yes, and she said that um, the way that she had set it up that day, it was like it was stepmom that did it. But after I did the report to the police, it changed. She changed her story multiple times. One day she had a meltdown when I was able to drop off some things for her school. She had a meltdown. And after that meltdown, the stepmom said she was going to give her away. So she can't, she has to change the way that she feels and how hurt she is by the situation or she'll be given away. I tried to report it to you guys, but you guys covered for that too. We covered. Yeah, you, they didn't want to take a report. They started bullying people in my area, mm -hmm. sabotaging with the report and want to investigate it. Hmm. You still stay on Buffman? So what is typically the response to someone reporting interference with child custody crimes? And that they went up to the court and made false statements to keep me away from my child, as well as multiple so other parties. For child abuse, or are you here for interference with child custody? I don't know why you would cover for the crime, this? sir. You should be able to help me in all areas of law I'm enforcement here, and I'm not try to sabotage law enforcement. I don't appreciate you guys being bullies and uh, con artists and covering so, for crimes. Ma'am, for your interference with child custody, like I said, you got to come up here with a signed court document. State I've already did it multiple court. times, and you cover for it. Bring it with you. I've already explained that to you. So until you do well, here's the thing, sir. I need to include that that they're committing. Maybe I can do something about 
Okay, I need to conclude that you're covering for it. You're covering for it, sir. I wanted to let you know that she's an environment. I need proof. So there is that she's in an environment that may not be uh that's emotionally abusive. I don't know why you would sabotage me reporting that and bully me, sir. She's in an environment you need to know. She's in an environment that's emotionally abusive as well as physically. What's your daughter's name? They're bullies. They need to go be in prison. I'm tired of this. Do you want help or not? I don't want to get bullied for reporting child abuse and arrested and assaulted by the police or gaslighted or gaslit. This is abusive, sir. It's abusive. Yeah, you're abusing me. So, with that, can you please give me your daughter's information? Okay, it's Michaela. So, I'm not quite sure why you deflected on me knowing the law. When was the last time you seen her, man? It's been a while. Um, I tried to take her over um, the 4th of July. They let me um, know I didn't, wasn't able to see her the 4th of July. The dad got the money that I was trying to give her. Okay. Um, <clears throat> when was the last time you called her, text messaged her? I don't, they're not allowed. She's not allowed to send me texts or talk to me out of corruption. Okay. Um, now, who does she live with? The dad and stepmom that made false statements to the family court that you were trying to cover for. Again? That were made false statements, the abusive party that made false statements to the family court that you were trying to distract and cover for. Okay. Um, what's dad's name? Yes. Ever since she witnessed my false arrest screaming in terror in 2018, betrayed by the police department, arresting me for profit. And then ever since then, yes, ever since then, you guys have been enforcing the abuse for profit or whatever means that you have guys have in doing that and enforcing the crime as well as CPS. So it's not even legal to put me on the supervised, but you're enforcing the crime, see how they disregard? It's a part of their abuse. No, it's not a game. They would detain me. They detained me, handcuffed me for reporting crimes at the Texas Rangers, detained here, arrested at the domestic violence place. No, they're not joking. Don't, don't think that they're playing games. They are serious. And like I said, a lot of times, I did not know if they were going to kill me. They started fidgeting, looking around for witnesses. I didn't know if they were gonna grab their gun, what they were gonna, they are not joking. These people are sick. Who in there not, will not do a welfare check for a 12, 12 year old child? D. Davis didn't. No, they're not playing games for profit. Any and everything is okay. So it's a lot of officers, they need to know what's going on because if there is someone actually going to buy by the law, they need to distract them and make sure that they're not. There are multiple different police involved in this chaos, a team full of abusers. Whether it's for profit or what reason, I haven't found, figured that out yet. But I've seen a good police officer that they enticed to not take a report from me. And they know that my family means a lot to me, so they're enforcing these crimes, keeping me away from my daughter illegally and my, my, they did it with my son, just out of malice. There was a sergeant that covered for the crimes right there and over there in the corner. I've made reports from multiple different parties here that have covered for crimes and tampered with evidence, which is a felony. They consistently getting, keep getting away with it. Multiple people have taken reports. Now, since I keep coming to report, now they want to ask for the child custody agreement so that can be a catch-22 and they won't have to take that report because they're covering for, up for the crimes. They probably set it up. So if multiple parties have taken it, even a sergeant, why does he need to see it all of a sudden? Why is that new? And I don't know how many times do I have to show them and turn it in and get ignored? What's the point? But they're deliberately trying to find an avenue in which they won't have to um, abide by the law, which they haven't for years. I'm just ringing the doorbell. He's on the phone. So he's all over there talking to other officers because they're trying to find avenues in which they can sabotage the report. You can't see it. Did you just cut your body cam on? Okay. Yeah, it's been on. Okay. The whole, whole time. All right, so what happened today? What, what are we here for? Okay, where's the report for the child abuse? Because tamper with evidence we've already discussed is a felony. If I don't get the report, you're committing a crime. Okay, so everything that you've already reported has already been... I have never received a police never report. Received a report. Never, never yeah. for that. No, never. 
They, they have been covering for, for years. That's why you just took a report, tampering with evidence is a felony. Okay. I want my report. And if you don't give me my report, you're committing a crime. Okay. And that would establish that you're behind it. Hold on, let me be right back, all right? Yeah. Yeah, just hang tight, have a seat for me. So they have to go through all these shit. No, like I said, they arrested to cover up for it. They're behind it. He just left to go give me a report number. I have to play games with these people. I said that before I came in here. These are bullies, so I have to pretend like I, I don't know what they're doing, and then they have to pretend like they're actually trying to abide by the law. I got arrested at Texas Rangers. This is not a joke. They are enforcing my daughter's abuse and the interference with child custody, which is a felony. Covering up for suspected child abuse, that's a misdemeanor, a class A misdemeanor. Not reporting suspected child abuse and you're a police officer is a crime. We've met, witnessed them do it multiple times on this channel. Why? Because they're behind it. As long as I don't have any access to my daughter, they're happy. No matter if she's in an abusive situation that's emotionally abusive as well as physically, the only thing is, it, is that they care about, does that hurt me for profit? So when I come in here and do this reports, they have to violate, mistreat, talk over me, do disregard me, blame me for all of their chaos. Say I'm talking over them, go all over the planet to try to find any kind of avenue they can to deny sabotage law enforcement. So let me wait. They probably send Brock Carey out because they, they have to cover for the child abuse, which is a crime. That's why they detained me last time to cover for it and at the Texas Rangers. They started the situation out of profit, the corruption, and they want to finish it by denying me investigation for the chaos they created. So there's this group effort, teamwork. So I'm not understanding why I have to keep on consistently waiting just to report crimes and why I get assaulted and violated reporting crimes. And when I go to jail, why do they violate me and mistreat me in jail and then I get mistreated and assaulted in jail by inmates like it's planned? If you would investigate some of the 70 reports, you'd see a pattern. I don't understand why it's that hard to get a police report number in law enforcement. It's like multiple parties are deliberately committing crimes, felonies. And then when they pass, when I say statements, of white care, detain, arrest, assault. They have never given me a report on it. They've been covering up for years the, um, on the child abuse. So they keep on coming up with schemes and avenues to cover for it. So let's see if they give me one today. I want to speak with the supervisor because I don't understand why so many people in this department as well as multiple other police departments commit crimes and enforce child abuse that's criminal. So I don't understand why I get detained, assaulted, and arrested at multiple different police departments to enforce child abuse and why you guys are still getting away with the chaos because I'm ready for people to get their charges. These, are fel these felonies are racking up. So all of these people have to help him. And it, all it is just report the child abuse. Report it. It's not that hard. How long are they going to keep getting away with these crimes? This is a child. She witnessed my false arrest screaming in ass at age. They, she, they have been getting away with this ever since 2018. Arresting me and violating me and covering up so she can be away from me. For profit. Multiple different departments targeting me, letting me get assaulted, ran off roads, cars speeding up like they're gonna hit me, guns put on me, threats, cyberbullying, letting all that go on year after year and do nothing. Enforcing that church has not helped me, domestic violence making me blacklisted, even online. No avenues, period, for helping domestic abuse, period. Nowhere on the planet. Then I go all the way to Texas, Canada trying to get help. They put my stuff out when I was gone for reporting my abuser, just outside in a box and would not let me in. They're supposed to have um, accompaniment. They wouldn't give me those services. And then when I left to report them on my own, terrified, they put myself stuff outside in the box.
and then enticing them to these organizations and people to help frame me so they can get away with more crimes and contribute to the abuse. I mean, they are working hard. They, they've never taken a report for the child abuse ever. And not doing miscellaneous reports when a child abuse is a crime. But that's what they do. See all these officers interrupting him, trying to make they're trying to get their life straight. I've been going through this years. So they're a teamwork effort. They're on my phone, tracking my GPS, having uh, have an idea of where I'm going. They know that I didn't get my supervised visit today, so they have to interrupt me reporting that. They've been doing it years. I've turned in paperwork to multiple different people, even a detective here that's been playing games, ducking and dodging me. I said that I think my abuser railroaded me. They have, they have this bully coming, Davis. He's probably about to talk to me and bully. What right here? That's the one that wouldn't take the, um, do the welfare check. Just flat out wouldn't do it. So he's playing games. It's not that hard to just give me a case number. Here's the sergeant that came cover for it last time with Bill. Same things going on. I'm still not getting my supervised visits. I reported it to Bill and gave him a custody agreement. And then I reported it to you and your sergeant. And for some reason, they're trying to sabotage my reports and require me to have the document that I've given to you guys multiple times. And then I told you I was detained. I, well, here's the thing, ma'am. That's the reporting suspected child abuse and I'm reporting it to you and him is a class A misdemeanor. You commit a crime. So what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Because it hasn't, nothing has been done? No. Ma'am, all I know is that you've been- Not reporting suspected child abuse is a class A misdemeanor. What are you going to do? Ma'am, you come in on- I'm talking to the sergeant. July 12th, July 7th- Because the crimes are staking up, sir. June 18th. Ma'am, not reporting, he's bullying me. Stop him from doing that. This is a child at stake here. And it's been going on years. Ma'am, I- I need to talk to someone that's not going to cover for the crimes. Let me call 911 on my phone. Let me call 911 on my phone. They've been getting the character away with this chaos for years. Call 911 because I don't think it's I think it's sick for you sick for you to repeatedly cover for the crimes. I have questions and you keep disregarding me, walking off in my face. And so I'm calling 911 since you refuse to answer the questions and play games year after year. I was calling 911 on you because you refuse to answer questions regarding my daughter's child abuse. No, I have questions. To disregard me week after week is abusive. I'm asking questions. I don't understand why you cover for the crimes, ma'am. This has been going on ever since 2018 when she witnessed my false arrest. It's a class A misdemeanor. You're covering for crimes. Ma'am, can I? I'm calling 911 since you want you refusing education so you, so you guys can get your charges. I have some questions that you're denying me answers for out of corruption, so I'm calling 911 on you to show that you guys are kept consistently keep covering for crimes. If you refuse to answer these questions and abide by the law, then someone needs to keep you in check for your abuse and your crimes. If you refuse to answer them, maybe someone else can. Hello, I call ma'am. This is Dallas 911. What's yeah. the agency emergency? It is the Camp Wisdom Police Station, South Central Patrol. They've been covering up for my daughter's child abuse for years, denying welfare checks, denying reports. Covering up for suspected child abuse is a class A misdemeanor. And they've detained me. Multiple different police departments have arrested me to cover up for her abuse. And it's time that they got their consequences for doing so. I asked them if it, I told them it was a class A misdemeanor for these police officers to routinely cover for it. And she dis keeps on disregarding and deflecting and walking off so I won't get the, con um, the answers to the consequences for these people committing these crimes. And multiple different departments have done it. I'm tired of this going on, being kept from my child, from police corruption, and they need the consequences they deserve. So if this officer won't give me information, can you get one out that can? You want to speak to an officer, ma'am? I do, one that's not going to tamper with evidence, which is a felony, and not reporting so suspected right child now, abuse. Are you Right now, are you at the... Right, the and they, yes. Multiple different police departments tamper with evidence and sabotage inf information and cover for crimes. Not re um, reporting suspected child abuse is a class A misdemeanor. They cover for it. What's your, what's your name, ma'am? It's Kiana Clark. Okay, and so you, you're you at the substation right now. Right, and, and they repeatedly... You want, you want to talk to a different officer? Right, like someone that. that doesn't mind that, that will be honest and not tamper with evidence and keep me from justice out of corruption. 
Okay, what's your phone number, Miss Kiana? Right, because I keep reporting it year after year. It does no good. They're trying to, like, she's in an environment that's emotionally abusive and they're trying to sabotage my relationship with my daughter. They did it with my son. So now my son is his oh. legal age, but he's scared to talk to me because all the chaos in his environment is controlled. They're trying to manipulate and um, brainwash my daughter so she would be terrified to have access to me too, like they did my son. But the police department okay. is enforcing the crimes by not getting her out of that toxic environment that was emotionally and physically abusive and enforcing the crimes for profit. Okay. All right, how was your daughter? No, I just want to report child abuse and I want the police to abide by the law and they haven't been doing so for years. So I would like to talk to someone that has an interest in protecting the child like they're supposed to. Well, if, if you're at the substation, ma'am, you should be able to talk to us. I haven't been able to. That if, I, if I could talk to one, I would need to call you. They do this repeatedly. They did not so need information. To speak to a sergeant. I did speak with one that was corrupt and walked off, did not give me information. They've been doing it years. Okay. Ever since my daughter's wit daughter witnessed my foster arrest screaming and tear. Miss Kiana, can you spell your first name for me? They, yeah, they've been doing it years. Years. Multiple officers here do the same thing. They're enforcing child abuse, ma'am. I don't you can't I can't I don't understand why a police department will do it, but the fact is they're doing it. And they keep getting away with it year after year. So I thought that if y'all called nine one one that I can find someone that has integrity somewhere on this planet. Okay, ma'am. Um, who's your daughter being abused by? So, so since they're committing crimes, they have to scheme and try to send some right care out, pretend like I'm mentally ill to cover for their crimes. Because they know that I'm calling 911 on them because they keep committing crimes here at this police department. Ms. Clark, are you white, black, or Hispanic? I'm in the lobby, and I just don't understand why multiple police would enforce my daughter being in an toxic env uh, environment that's emotionally and physically abusive and scheme to keep, away, keep me away from her for years, which is okay. a felony. Inter interference with child custody rights is a crime. And I don't know why police departments multiple would enforce it. Okay. Is that an officer right here? There's multiple officers here. They, this has been going on years. I come here, report, they laugh, gaslight. Okay, ma'am. Well, I did I did enter in the call sheet that you're respect, uh, requesting to speak to a different sergeant and that you're at the South Central substation at this time um, in regards to abuse child abuse to your daughter right that the police that the police department that the police department and cps routinely covers for child abuse that the law enforcement and government is repeatedly multiple different departments are enforcing for profit i've already yes i've already turned something up. in i've already turned something into detective gooding here at this station she ducked and dodged me. I told her that I believe my abuser was behind why multiple parties have lied and tried to keep me away from my child out of corruption, down to putting me on supervised visits that no one will enforce. Okay. And then All try right, to bully me and mistreat me when I come down here okay. to report the crimes, interference with child custody crimes. Okay. Okay, Ms. Clark, the call is in, okay? Okay, thank you. All right, you're welcome. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. So here's the report, and since the government's behind the chaos, they line up reports. That's why they won't give me the reports, because they don't want me to know what they're putting in the reports, so that because they're covering for the crimes. That's why they gave me fraud at police headquarters, and they keep repeatedly for years denying me access to the records, which is not even legal, but they have been consistently breaking the law with no consequences. So yeah, this is the law. I feel like I'm in the civil rights movement, trying to get my rights. I repeatedly party to party to party, consistently keeps approaching me, covering for crimes year after year after year. Is this a miscellaneous report or is this a case? I don't understand why you guys repeatedly mistreat me when I'm reporting child abuse, that's a crime. You're committing crimes in this police department. These felonies are stacking up for you. So they keep giving me incidents reports so they, and then it disregard me when I'm making these reports. See, I'm reporting child abuse and this isn't on purpose. So they don't wanna disregard me when they know that I'm panicking for my child. This is the police department. So they heard the bill and they're disregarding me knowing that I, I have all these reports that are stacking up for years.
And this is the thanks that I get, knowing that I have all this child abuse going on, they disregard me and mistreat me year after year. So I just rang the bell and, you know, once again at another police department, they treat me like I have no value for profit. And like my daughter doesn't have any either. She's 12. She don't deserve for having a meltdown for the mom, uh, the mom that she misses that the police department have deprived her from for profit illegally to have a meltdown and then stepmom threaten her to give her away. So she can't even display to the, them how she this emotionally abusive this is because they put her in check by threatening to give her away and have her in the system. And then I called the police on them and they covered for it. You saw what happened when I went to the FBI, but someone has these multitude of police departments coming to breaking up these felonies. These are crimes.